Hi everybody, Dr. Scott Taylor here from Southwest Spine and Rehab in Mesa, Arizona. I have Steve here with me. Now Steve um, has a long history of some low back issues. He's been kind of making some great changes in his life. He's been working out, getting fit, um, and we're going to show you a uh, low back and a full spine adjustment on Steve Day. So Steve, we're going to have you lay down like we do before, face down with the face on the paper here. So now Steve has some back issues, uh, some disc problems. So we kind of got to be a little gentle with him. Now this table can move up and down. And so you'll see that when you come in. So we're just trying to open up this low back in here. And a lot of times what we haven't shown on the video is that we've worked Steve out already a little bit, but a lot of times we'll use some sort of massage therapy technique for a, a, a minute or so to help loosen that area up. Cause it just helps to relax the muscles and helps us to get a better adjustment. Now, if this was an acute injury and let's say Steve's uh, leg pain had returned, we would kind of utilize this a lot slower and a lot more gently. But as this table moves up and down, we're distracting and stretching the spine. So just a little bit of force. Is that okay, Steve? Okay. okay. If anything becomes too much, just let me know. So we're just tractioning out that spine. You know, this part of the lumbar spine is very hard to stretch. You know, when we try to just go down and touch our toes, this area doesn't actually flex open. We'll flex at our hip joints and then come up a couple inches and then the upper lumbar and then the thoracic spine or the mid back does all the stretching. And so this is one thing that we'll do to help warm up a patient. So once they've done that for a bit and I start to feel some motion coming back, we'll turn this table off and we're going to do more of a traditional diversified or hands-on adjustment. So Steve, we're going to have you lie on your side facing me. Take as much time as you need. Now everyone's different, but uh, Steve's a pretty big guy, but I'm still bigger than him. So we got him taken care of. So we're going to kind of put him in this position. I'm going to just slide him a little bit more towards me. We're going to start with a nice little stretch. We're going to stretch all these muscles through here. And I already know I kind of want L4 adjustment here. I'm going to keep his foot back there. And then there we go. We're going to do another adjustment on you, Steve. We're going to lie you flat on your back. We're going to slide you downward a little bit. Now, Steve also has a lot of tightness between his shoulder blades. So we're going to do an anterior to posterior adjustment like that. Now I'm going to slide Steve down just a little bit so we can get his middle of his back in this section here. So his thoracic number seven is always tight. And we're gonna roll up a little bit more. I'm gonna come down a little bit more. There we go. So that's a, just a basic example of a lumbar and thoracic adjustment that we do on a lot of our patients. Again, it's dependent upon you as the patient, your condition, your injury, and kind of what's going on. If you have any other questions, give our office a call. Thanks very much. Have an awesome day.